Good morning, everyone. Today's devotional from Psalm 45 is all about being demanded to a great wedding. And it says in Psalm 45, verse 8, All your robes are fragrant with myrrh and aloes and cassia from palaces adorned with ivory. The music of the strings makes you glad. Wow, sounds very grand, doesn't it? I mean, the, the garments, the smells, the location, the, the music, it just sounds like this great wedding is ready. But what is going on here? Well, this is a unique psalm. It was common for songs or psalms to be uh, sung to kings in the ancient Near East. And that's what we find here. This is very much directed towards uh, the king, it seems like. Um, but this is the only psalm in the Bible that does this. So why is it here? What's so special about this psalm about a wedding? Well, the answer is that this isn't just addressed to the king. It's actually addressed to the king of the universe, too. But how can that happen? Why is that? Well, the king was often seen as God's representative, God's agent for exercising his justice, his mercy. And that's why in verse 6, uh, the psalmist refers to the king as God. But he does that on purpose in that specific place, because this isn't just an ordinary wedding. There is something divine, godly even, about this wedding. Bear with me. The nation of Israel was often described in the Old Testament as God's bride. And that theme continues into the New Testament. Jesus refers to that often. And that is the intimacy that God is looking for with his people. And that is such the closeness that he is calling us to have, you and me to have today with him. And Revelation speaks of a great wedding at the end of time between Christ and the church. Revelation 19 verse 7 says, Let us rejoice and be glad and give him glory for the wedding of the Lamb, which is Jesus, has come and his bride has made herself ready. There is a day when God will be fully united with his church. When his kingdom comes in its fullness and there will be no more tears no more suffering no more pain and that day is described as like a great wedding so know today that god desires closeness with us because you as part of the church are god's bride and your presence is demanded on the day of the great wedding